Virgo Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be continuing my Zodiac Sign series with Virgo. This is just like the other ones I've done in this series with the gorgeous galaxy style background and then the white details on the front of it. It's just very simple and clean, just like the rest of them. If you do have your sign that was previously in the year, so any of them, Cancer, Leo, etc., going backwards i will put a link to those in the description box below if your sign has not come up yet and it's later on in the year i will be uploading a video for it when the time is right so please check back for that and don't forget to click subscribe see all my future videos as well so we're going to begin by creating that gorgeous galaxy style background with a layer of blue teal black and a touch of white acrylic in a nice marbly background so just lay down one color of acrylic or you can grab a multicolored bead and lay down a couple at a time if you want but just very wet acrylic that will blend really easily together. So each nail that you do, if you're going to do this in a set, you want all of them to have, have that gorgeous galaxy and then just sort of switch up whatever color is on top or, what, or what's on top of it. But do each galaxy a little bit different and keep it a little bit, you know, just a little bit fluid looking. I'm going to add just a touch of white in one area of the nail. Then I'm going to be encasing the entire thing with a layer of clear acrylic just to make sure it is really nice and strong. Plus, that teal color that I used is very, very glittery, and if you file it, it's going to turn into a silvery mess. So just add that clear acrylic to protect your glitter and to make sure that your nail is nice and strong. And after you have that on there, then you're going to want to file your nail into shape using an e-file. So I'm going to begin with a pretty coarse bit, and it's a nice uh, football-shaped one, or a, like a torpedo-shaped bit. And I'm going to be filing it, removing any bulk at this point, but being careful not to file all the way through my clear acrylic and into that glitter. So just file, 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 and then after you have this done, because you are going to be doing a lot of hand painting on top of it, I'm going to grab a much finer bit and do all of the surface filing with that. That's going to leave a really soft, velvety, smooth surface to paint on that is going to make your paint just go on that much easier. And when it comes to doing something like a whole bunch of hand painting, a nice surface is key. So now I'm going to be painting the maiden symbol in the center of the nail. So right smack dab in the center because I'm going to be painting the constellation above and then the other symbol below. So I'm just going to go through and start out, and I started out with our hairline, and I'm gonna be adding the front of her face and just kind of doing the profile and just doing a little bit of the painting at a time. Just fill that in like that. For me, doing a profile of a face is probably the single hardest thing when it comes to getting shapes correctly in anything that's art or drawing. Everything else I can usually sort of either fake it till I make it or I have a pretty good handle on. But when it comes to painting faces, that's just the, that's my kryptonite. It's the one thing that I just am like, oh no, a face. But if you work slowly, you can usually work past these things. And if you do make a mistake, which you know, it's happened, it happens, it's life. You can take, um, depending on what color you're working on, if you are working over a black part of the galaxy, you can just use black paint to kind of cover it up. Or blue would definitely work as well. Just touch it up with some blue or black or whatever color you want to that won't show up too much paint. And nobody's ever going to see it anyway because, you know, you can just fix it up. So just go through and add her hair. As you can see, I left little stripes of, the, of her hair without paint just to leave it so it looked like it has little hair flowing. And then with blue paint, I did add her eye. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to be painting the constellation above the maiden. And so with the little dots, first add in the stars. And make sure you don't space them too far apart when you begin with that you can't put the entire constellation on the nail. So just keep that in mind if you're working on it. I, For each one of these uh, zodiac nails I did, I was always like, oh, that was just going to fit in there. It was just so close to being too big. After that, you can play connect the dots. And that's always my favorite part of doing this whole set that I did. I was like, ah, I get to connect the dots. That's my mentality. Sometimes I have funny things that I think. But then I'm going to be painting the M symbol at the bottom of the nail. So I'm going to start with just three, I'm going to start with two lines and then connect them and then paint another line and connect it. So that creates the M to start with and then add the little swoop afterwards, just like so. And then apply a layer of gel sealer and you are all done. So this nail, like I've said in all the other videos, the galaxy background is my favorite thing ever. I love the way it turned out. The white paint on top of it really stands out and looks very vibrant. And you could always split up the designs across the whole set if you wanted to not have everything happening on one nail. That would work out really, really well. So I hope you guys like this. And happy birthday to any Virgos, including my husband. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!